Good day everyone, today we're going to discuss the angle measures of polygon. So we have our first theorem, triangle angle sum theorem. The sum of the measures of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180. So if we're going to add the sum of all the angles of a triangle that is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's have our problem number one. Solve for x. So we have 95, 45, then we're going to find x. We know that if we're going to add x plus 45 plus 95, that is equal to 180 degrees. Now, x, add 45 and 95 45 plus 95 that is 140 is equal to 180 degrees now we have x is equal to 180 minus 140 move the positive 140 to the right side that will become negative 140 so x is equal to 40 degrees so our x here is 40. If you want to check, 95 plus 45, that is 140. Plus 40, 180. Now number 2. Solve for x. We have the given x, then 70, then unknown. We study our given. So this is an example of isosceles triangle. If this is x, this is also x because base angle of an isosceles triangles are equal. Now we have x plus x plus 70 is equal to 180. Now we have 2x is equal to 180. Move positive 70 to the right, that will become negative 70. Now we have 2x is equal to 180 divided uh, 180 minus 70, that is 110. So 2x is equal to 110. So divide by 2. X is equal to 110 divided by 2, that is 55. 55. So x is equal to 55. So let us check, 55 plus 55, that is 110, plus 70, 180. Now, number three, study our figure, triangle, and we have a perpendicular here, therefore, that is 90. So solve for x. We know that if we're going to add 2x plus 15 plus 35 plus 90 is equal to 180. Now we have 2x. So 15 plus 35, that is 50. Plus 90, that is 140. Is equal to 180. Now we have 2x is equal to 180. Move to the right, that will become negative 140. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 140, that is 4. And finally, divide by 2 to get x, 40 divided by 2, that is 20. So x is equal to 20. The other way around is, we know that this is 90 degrees. Therefore, the sum of these two is equal to 90. So we can say that 2x plus 15 plus 35 is equal to 90. Now... 2x plus 15 plus 35, that is 50, is equal to 90. So 2x is equal to 90, moves to the right, minus 50. So 2x is equal to 40, divided by 2, x is equal to 40 divided by 2, 20. Still, we will come up with the same answer. So that is the ang uh, triangle angle sum theorem. The sum total of our angles in a triangle is equal to 180. 
we also have the interior angle SAM theorem. The sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex n gon is 180 quantity n minus 2. So if you're going to find what is the sum, sum total of the angles in our polygon, then we're going to use this formula. Let's say we're going to find the sum total of our angles in an octagon. We know that octagon has eight sides. So we're going to use the formula. So the sum is 180 times n minus 2. So we have 180 times 8 minus 2. We get 8 by the number of total of the sides. So 180 times 8 minus 2, that is 6. Now, we have 180 times 6. So 180 times 6, 6 times 0, that is 0. 6 times 8, that is 8, 16, 24, 48. Carry 4. 6 times 1, that is 6, plus 4, then 10. So the sum total is 1080 degrees. Okay, so the sum of all the angles in our octagon is 1080. Now for the quadrilateral. To get the sum, again use the formula 180 times n minus 2. Quad, our n is equal to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So S is equal to 180 times 4 minus 2. So 180 times 4 minus 2, that is 2. 180 times 2, 360. Okay. The sum of this is 100, uh, 360. So 90, 90, 90, 90. Now, decagon. Decagon has 10 sides. So our n is 10. So we have S is equal to 180 times N minus 2. So 180 times 10 minus 2. So we have 180 times 10 minus 2, that is 8. Now multiply 180 times 8. So we have 8 times 0, that is 0. 8 times 8, that is 64. Carry 6. 8 times 1, that is 8. Plus 6. That is 14. So 1,414. That is the sum of all the angles in our data. You will also encounter the following formula. For if the given is the parts of the regular polygon, and we have the formula. To get the distinct number of distinct diagonals, we have n quantity n minus 3 all over 2. And if you want to get the number of diagonals in one vertex, that is n minus 3. Each exterior angle, if you want to get each exterior angle of a regular polygon, that is 360 over n. And you will also encounter the following formula. If you want to get the number of distinct diagonals, you will need the formula n quantity n minus 2, n minus 3 all over And you will also encounter the following formula in our regular polygon. If you want to get the number of distinct diagonals, then the formula you're going to use is n quantity n minus 3 all over 2. And if you want to get the number of diagonals in one vertex, n minus 3 will be the formula. If you want to get each exterior angle in a regular polygon, that is 360 over n. n here is the number of sides. And if you want to get the area, given the apotem, so apotem times the perimeter all over 2. 
to get the perimeter that is the measure of the side times the number of the side so let's say let's apply the formula number one find the number of diagonals in decagon so in decagon we know that you have 10 sides in decagon right okay now number of diagonals so we're going to use this formula to get the number of diagonals number of diagonals so we have n times n minus 3 all over 2 so our n is 10 substitute times 10 minus 3 all over 2 now we have 10 times 10 minus 3 that is 7 all over 2 I want to use cancellation method so I can cancel 10 and 2 so this will become 5 times 7 so that is 34 so if you're going to draw diagonals in decagon you will come up with 35 diagonals now number two how many diagonals can you draw in one vertex of so one vertex so we're going to use this formula n minus 3 so triangle triangle has three sides so n minus 3 so n is 3 so 3 minus 3 that is 0 so we don't have diagonals in our triangle that's why we have 0 and octagon we know that octagon has 8 sides so we have 8 minus 3 that is 5 so from one vertex if you're going to draw diagonals then you can get 5 diagonals then decagon 10 minus 3 that is 7 so 7 diagonals you can create in one vertex or you can draw in one vertex now our last example what is the area of a regular polygon with apothem 6 units and perimeter of 12 units so we have a formula here area is equal to apothem our apothem is 6 units times our perimeter is 12 all over 2 so use cancellation method so 12 and 2 we can cancel that so this will become 6 so 6 times 6 36 square units that would be the area 36 square units thank you for watching senior pablo team